Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part four of my Algebra Video Tutorial series. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to focus 100% on solving inequalities. So you may ask yourself, well, what exactly is an inequality? Well, an inequality is just two expressions separated by a comparison operator. So you can see here the comparison operators. We have greater than right here. We have less than right here greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and of course the other comparison operators would be equal and not equal. And an example of an inequality would be something like 2x minus 1 is greater than 4. And of course I'm going to show you how to solve that along with so many more. Now if we were to graph a inequality on a number line, so for example, where we have x is greater than two, in the situations in which we are going to be using greater than or less than, we're going to use an unfilled circle. So how we would graph this on our number line is just to find the two right here, and we would draw a circle there. Why don't I use a different color like this? And then we would just fill in the line in the direction of x. So we could just come in here and fill in our line in the direction of x like that. Now in situations in which we were using greater than or equal to or less than or equal to right here, we are once again going to find the value mentioned. So that would be negative 2. And let's go and draw a line underneath this. So now it's less than or equal to. So we'll find our negative 2, and we are going to use a filled in circle because it is less than or equal to. And then we draw a line once again towards x. So x is less than or equal to 2, so it is instead going to go in this direction. And then we just draw that in. So let's do a couple more. So again, we have x is greater than or equal to 2, so we go and find our 2. And it's greater than or equal to, so that means it's a filled in circle. So let's go and draw that in and fill it in and then draw a arrow towards where x is. So in this situation, x is greater than, so it goes in this direction instead. And then we draw in our arrow. And let's do one more. Now we have negative 2 and it's greater than or equal to. So go and fill in the circle once again and x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So we'll draw in our line once again and fill in our arrow. All right, so that's good stuff. And now what I want to do is show you how to solve some more complicated inequalities. Now, solving an inequality is very similar to solving equations. You first simplify both sides. You add and subtract like terms. You multiply and divide to simplify to x, and then finally you graph on the number line if that is required. So let's take our first example here. We're going to use the distributive property first. So we'll say 2x minus 2 is greater than 4. Then we will add 2 to both sides of our inequality. So we'll end up with 2x is greater than 6. And then we will divide by 2 on both sides to get that x is greater than 3. We can come in, find our 3. We can see it's just greater than, so that means we're going to circle it. And then x is greater than 3. So we're going to draw this in. Maybe I'll use a thicker line this time. And we can see that that is going to give a good understanding of the direction that our inequality is showing. Let's go and solve another one. So in this situation, we have 2x minus 5x plus 4 is less than or equal to 10. So we're going to simplify the x-like terms. So this is going to become negative 3x plus 4 is less than or equal to 10. We can then subtract 4 from both sides. So we'll get 3x is less than or equal to, and this will be 6. Now, the one thing that is interesting when dealing with inequalities is anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to reverse the inequality. So we're going to be dividing by negative 3 here. So that's going to be x, but we have to flip the inequality, and that is going to give us 
x is greater than or equal to negative 2. And we can come in here, find the negative 2. It's greater than or equal to, so that means it's going to be filled in. And greater than or equal to, so we're going to find our line here, draw it in there like that, and then cap it off at the end. All right, so there we are. Let's go and solve a couple more of these just to make sure we 100% understand what we're doing. So again, distributed property, and this is going to be 4x minus 8 is less than 8. We can add 8 to both sides. So this is going to be 4x is less than 16. And then we find that x is less than 4. And I think you understand the number line, so I don't need to do that again. On to more complicated inequalities. The two 4x's here are going to negate each other. So this is going to become 2 is greater than or equal to 5 minus x minus 4. We will go and subtract 4 from 5. So that gives us 2 is greater than or equal to negative x plus 1. We can then subtract 1 from both sides. So this becomes 1 is greater than or equal to negative x. And then we want to go and divide by negative 1. Remember that means we have to flip the inequality or flip the greater than or equal to. So this becomes negative 1 is less than or equal to x. All right, let's do two more. Again, distributive property. I do this over and over again because I know this is the one thing that confuses people the most. So we will go and focus a little bit more on it. It should be quite clear at this point. So there we are, and there we are. The fives are going to cancel out on both sides. And if we do that, that's gonna leave us with zero is less than 10x, which means that zero is less than x. And we'll do one final more. We'll throw in fractions just to make it a little bit confusing. So we'll get one third x, and we're going to add two to both sides. So that is less than or equal to two thirds x minus four. Then we can go and subtract two thirds from one thirds. And if we do that, we're gonna end up with negative one third x is less than or equal to negative four. And if we go and simplify for x, that leaves us with a final of x is greater than or equal to 12. And you can see there, I flipped the comparison operator once again. So hopefully that clears up everything you could ever want to know about solving inequalities, and we will revisit them in the future. And otherwise, just like always, please leave your questions and comments down below.